host, our very own MEI scholar, Elon Peleg, and his colleague, Dov Waxman, have written a very important book about a very understudied issue, and that issue is the state of Israel's Palestinian population, also referred to as Israel's Arab minority. Uh, in their book, The Conflict Within, which we'll be selling after this event downstairs, the two authors set out to examine the state of Jewish-Arab relations inside Israel, and what they find is quite alarming. As they report, there is great inequality between the two sides and a growing divide, which, uh, as they say, will put the country uh, at risk um, both politically and in terms of its democracy. Israel's Arabs make up 20% of the country's population, and while they're better off economically uh, than many of their Arab neighbors, and while they have more democratic rights than many of their Arab neighbors, uh, they're still not as well off as uh, many Israeli Jews, and they're feeling increasingly unwanted uh, in their state, and that's leading to new tensions and frictions uh, between the two sides. And today, uh, Mr. Peleg and Mr. Waxman will examine the implications of these growing frustrations uh, and put forward solutions. They are very well qualified to do so. Ilan Peleg is the Charles A. Dana Professor of Government at Lafayette College, as well as Editor-in-Chief of the Israel Studies Forum, an interdisciplinary journal, uh, and the official publication of the Association for Israel Studies. He has written extensively on Israel and Middle East-related topics. Among his other books is uh, Begin's Foreign Policy, 1997 to 1983, Israel's Move to the Right. You can read more about him in our, uh, the bios that we've handed out. Uh, Professor Waxman is a faculty member of the political science and the Middle Eastern excuse me, he's a faculty member of the Political Science and Middle Eastern Studies program at the Graduate Center of the City University of New York. He's been a fellow at the Begin Sadat Center for Strategic Studies at Bar Ilan University in Israel and at the Moshe Dayan Center at Tel Aviv University. And he's the co-author of The Pursuit of Peace in the Crisis of Israeli Identity, Defending, Defining the Nation, among other publications. Welcome to you both. Uh, they'll each be speaking about 20 to, uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be taking questions at the end. Uh, they'll be signing their books uh, downstairs after the event. The books are selling for $20. I hope everybody uh, will buy one. And uh, at the same time, if you would like to make a contribution to MEI, we would encourage you to do so. Uh, it'll give us a chance to throw more uh, events like this in uh, larger spaces so that we can have uh, more of you come out. So thank you all once again for joining us, and we're going to begin with Mr. Waxman. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kate, and uh, thank you, everybody, for coming here this afternoon to, to listen to us. Um, I'm going to begin by um, outlining what the problem is as we describe it in this book. Essentially, the book uh, is composed of two parts. The first part describes the problem and the development of the problem and its origins, uh, the growing conflict, as we see it, uh, that's taking place in Israel today between the Palestinian minority and the Jewish majority. And then I'm going to turn over to uh, Ilan, my co-author, uh, who's going to talk about the second part of our book in which we outline some of our proposed solutions to, um, to resolve the conflict, or at least to ameliorate it uh, significantly. Okay, um, let me begin by saying what the main purpose of this book is. Essentially, it is to uh, sound the alarm bell, to draw attention to what we think is occurring in Israel, namely an escalating conflict between the Jewish majority and the Palestinian minority, and uh, to emphasize that this conflict is not just an issue of domestic importance to Israel, but is one that, in fact, threatens Israel's internal stability, its democratic political regime, and ultimately has a great deal of bearing upon the resolution of the wider Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And I'm going to emphasize in my uh, brief remarks today the connection between this internal conflict and the external conflict, the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian people in the West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem. I want to begin, first of all, uh, by clarifying uh, our, our term, because when I'm talking about the Palestinians in Israel, Israel's Palestinians is the book uh, title states, uh, I'm referring to Israel's Arab citizens. I'm referring uh, to uh, a group of people that are often referred to by Israelis, by Israeli Jews, as Israeli Arabs. And I'm not using that term, we don't use the term in the book, because it doesn't accurately reflect the self-identity of this population. Uh, this is a population that identifies itself overwhelmingly as Palestinian, 
And it is important to recognize the Palestinian national identity of this population. That's why I don't use the term uh, Israeli Arabs. It's important to em uh, emphasize that Israel's Palestinian minority, who number about 1.3 million people, 1.3 million people, um, that's about one, uh, one in five Israeli citizens are Palestinian. And these Palestinians are an integral part of the wider Palestinian people and therefore need to be considered in any solution of the Palestinian problem and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Our argument in a nutshell in the book is that the existence of a large Palestinian national minority within Israel has major implications, not only for how Israel as a state should behave and define itself, but also for how the Israeli-Palestinian conflict should be resolved. We basically argue that the existing framework for resolving this conflict, a two-state solution, is inadequate. Simply establishing a Palestinian state in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and in East Jerusalem, the current framework, the emphasis now of international peacekeeping, will not solve this conflict. It may, in fact, exacerbate it because of this ongoing and escalating internal conflict. So in order to resolve this internal conflict and ultimately to contribute to a solution of the wider Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it is essential to improve the status of the Palestinian minority within Israel and its relations within, with the Jewish majority. Um, the, the way, uh, some of our ideas for how this improvement will take place, Ilan will present in a, in a little while. Um, I'm not going to go over now, because I have very little time, um, all of the ways in which uh, the Palestinian minority inside Israel um, essentially constitutes a second-class citizens. Right? Uh, uh, in the book, uh, we catalogue in a variety of ways uh, the, the means by which the Palestinian minority has been systematically discriminated against since the establishment of the Israeli state. Systematically, in other words, this has not been uh, an accident. This is, in fact, built in to the structure of the state as a, as a Jewish state. Um, this discrimination, which occurs in areas of education, housing, uh, municipal funding, um, has been uh, recorded over many, many years by now and has contributed to... Uh, uh, making the Palestinian minority much worse off in a, by a variety of measurements compared to their Jewish counterparts. Now, I want to be clear. The Palestinian minority in Israel have still achieved considerable progress in the 60-odd years of Israel's establishment. This is a community that, in many ways, has achieved real significant material progress and has reaped the benefits of being citizens of Israel, measured in terms of healthcare, for instance, educational outcomes. So this is not just a, a negative story, a story of oppression and discrimination, right? Uh, there are many positive aspects to the story as well. Nevertheless, compared to their Jewish counterparts, Palestinian citizens are still inferior in many respects, politically inferior, economically inferior, and socially. They are marginalized uh, by, Israel, in Israeli, by Israeli society. They are considered, uh, in many respects, uh, the enemy within, a fifth column within the state. Uh, uh, they are, there's pervasive suspicion and distrust toward this community. And this suspicion and distrust, again, is not a recent development, but is something that is deeply rooted in the fabric of Israeli politics and Israeli society. In short, the divide between Jewish and Palestinian citizens of Israel is the deepest and most problematic divide within the country. We hear often in, in the media about uh, religious secular tensions within Israel, and they are real. But the really big problem that Israel faces is not the religious secular problem, although that is certainly a problem as well. The really big divide, the, the, the divide that is growing, uh, is the divide between Jews and Palestinians within Israel. 